Correct, correct people. How on a day? Welcome back to Tessis TV. We don't carry another better approach. Go given about waiting the up for palace. As the story with the wishes right now from inside the palace of Oni is that Kabiesi Oba Adeyeye went to Naomi's church today to see Naomi face to face as Naomi's uncle has refused that Mommy Tedenekao will appear in the Olojo Festival. Kabiesi has seen that uh, it is no longer a joke over what is going on between him and Queen Naomi and his uncle is no longer going to allow Queen Naomi anytime soon to visit uh, Oni Palace. Yeah, before Queen Naomi will visit the palace, his uncle will go back to Australia. But the main thing we say, the uncle said before he will leave that he is living with Queen Naomi, that he is living with Prince Tedinikao. Yes, that he is living with both of them to Australia, where she will engage in another studies that she wants Queen Naomi to go for more certificates. Yes, Queen Naomi has not gotten her master's degree. Queen Naomi has not gotten her PhD and other certificates. And that is what the Oloris are using to suppress her. Because Miriam said, ah, when a woman of yesterday that has not gotten anything, that she's senior in, in age, she's senior her in um, business, she's senior her in education, that when a woman cannot return and come and take over, that over her by body will she allow when a woman to return back. And not only that, we heard that Ashley has also been suppressing when a woman the same with Tolip Tobiloba, the same with uh, Adderon K. They are not giving Mommy Tedeneka a breathing space at all. So because of that, when Naomi's uncle has come to conclusion that when Naomi will not have her way back to the palace, that when Naomi is leaving to go and get more certificates for herself. So Kabiesi has seen that this matter is no longer something that will be settled so easily. He has sent his elders, he has sent his father, he has sent um, his brothers, and they couldn't come back with a good uh, report. So now Kabisi has decided to withdraw back a little, to re strategize his plan in making sure that uh, Naomi returns back. Yes. So as you don't be right now, we heard that uh, Kabi Esi went to Queen Naomi's church. Kabi Esi met with Queen Naomi face to face. Remember, Queen Naomi is still angry with Kabi Esi. Yeah, but he is not angry to the extent that he is wishing she is wishing him bad. No. Queen Naomi can never wish Kabi Esi bad. When Naomi loves Kabiesi, but husband and wife sometimes they do get issue. And that is the kind of issue that Queen Naomi and Kabiesi is having. So Queen Naomi was shocked that Kabiesi arrived. Deep down in her heart, we know say she will be happy. She was shocked to see Kabiesi in her church because she thought with this rift that is going on, that Kabiesi will not show face. But Kabi Esi decided to wave everything away and still appear upon say today is Oloja Festival. He came in the morning. He saw Queen Naomi and he was happy. Sitting where he was sitting, he was siding Queen Naomi and we heard that after church, Mommy Tadenekao, you know, greeted. Greeted Kabi Esi, Prince Tadenekao greeted his father. Because uh, we heard that Prince Tedeneka was supposed to appear for this uh, larger festival. But Queen Naomi uncle said that there is no way that they are Christians and Kabisi is a traditionalist. That Prince Tedeneka will not go. And Queen Naomi tried begging. But uh, 
his uncle has already made up his mind with his words, so there is no longer need of uh, begging. So we had Kabi Esi came. He saw when Naomi, he saw Prince Tadenekao, he was happy. And he bought gifts for Prince Tadenekao. Kabi Esi loves children so dearly as we know. He loves all his children, no exemption. He takes care of them so well. Even though that uh, attention seekers uh, paternity test has not been done, you will still see KBAC taking care of the twins, providing for them. They are so beautiful, they are so plumpy, they are so healthy. The same as we heard about Ashley's son. When you see Adewa Miwa, you know say KBAC is taking care of her. All of them, Adeola, they look so good. Showing that Kabiesi doesn't play with her children, with his children, I mean. So he bought gifts for Prince Tedunekao, and they were all happy. Yes, Kabiesi saw them face to face before Kabiesi left for the Ologio Festival. It was when Kabiesi was in Kwenawomi's church that we heard that Miriam surfaced from nowhere. Miriam came to disrupt her in Naomi's church. She came to Queen Naomi's church to fight Queen Naomi, saying that Kabiesi left the palace without informing anybody. That's why will Kabiesi go back to a husband snatcher? That what is Kabiesi doing with Queen Naomi? Now, so she can't shout to create a scene in Queen Naomi's church. All because of Kabiesi that doesn't care about you. Yes. As far as we all know, Kabiesi cares about Queen Naomi more than he cares about all this Mamala who's waiting for palace. But they will try to do everything possible to see that Kabiesi forgets Naomi, but it is not going to be done because uh, the prophecies that has been coming shows that Queen Naomi is the crown prince of the Levi kingdom. Mami Tadinekawo is going to sit beside Kabiesi on his throne. So these prophecies that has been coming out cannot be labeled a lie because it must surely come to pass. It might not happen now, but in future it will occur. So my correct people, now waiting with the here with the for palace that Kabiesi gladly visited Queen Naomi in her church in Akira mansion as he presents gift to Prince Tedinikawu. He was happy to hear to see Queen Naomi and uh, their son. My correct people, now waiting with the here with the soft for palace as alleged. Have a make a try to mount. Drop your comments, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, stay tuned, stay connected for more updates will be dropping from time to time about waiting the soft for palace as alleged.